So I usually try to caution people against putting too much stock in any one poll because polling data is just more stable, it's more reliable at the aggregate level. So what you really wanna do is step back and look at all of the polls and try to gauge where the candidates are at. With that being said though, I'm gonna make an exception for this segment. One, because I wanna talk about a poll that produces results that I am uh, really excited about, so I'm kind of a hypocrite, admittedly. Uh, but second of all, I think that this could be possibly the continuation of what may be a trend change in this 2020 election. So we were all waiting to see how Bernie Sanders post debate endorsements from AOC and Ilhan Omar helped his campaign. And it turns out that one poll from Emerson shows that it had a tremendous impact on this race. So according to an Emerson poll that was conducted between October 18th through 21st, Bernie Sanders jumped from a distant third place to a solid second place, putting him just two points behind Joe Biden at 25% and four points ahead of Elizabeth Warren. So this is a substantial leap. But there's even more good news because among 18 to 29 year olds, Bernie Sanders absolutely dominates with 45% overall, getting more than the next three candidates combined. So it's not even close. Bernie Sanders is the candidate of young people. Now, this could very well be an outlier. So I want you to be cautiously optimistic. I don't want you to get your hopes up. But Still, there's a lot of really valuable information here in this poll. It tells us that Bernie Sanders' support among young voters, it's higher than we thought it was, right? This is huge. But on top of that, I'm starting to think that maybe this is the continuation of a new trend because when Bernie Sanders had his heart attack, if you look at Real Clear Politics polling averages, he dropped to 14.3%, but he started to shift towards a more upward trajectory, and now he's nearly at 17% on average, whereas Elizabeth Warren is on a relative downward trajectory, while Joe Biden had a sharp increase followed by a fairly stable lead although he has since evened out. So out of the top three frontrunners, it seems as if Bernie Sanders is the one currently at this moment in time with the momentum, the upward momentum. So I don't want you guys to just think that now is the time to feel energized because of this poll. What this poll tells us and what many polls have indicated is that Bernie Sanders by far and away is the candidate of young voters. So I need you to understand the enormous amount of power you have. If you are a millennial, if you are a Gen Z first time voter, you single handedly, we single handedly can make or break this election. We can make or break it. Now, a lot of people complain about the validity of polls because there's this accusation that they undersample young voters intentionally. But I need you to understand that these polls are based off of polling trends or voting trends rather. So in the last election cycle, if, you know, voter turnout for young people was low, that's basically what they're going to target for their sample when they do polls for the following elections. So just because Bernie Sanders uh, isn't polling in first place, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to lose. We can literally outperform the polls. It's just a matter of, will we do it? Will we get out and vote for Bernie Sanders? Will we caucus for Bernie Sanders? 30 years from now, I made this point on uh, Anna Kasparian's No Filter this week. We are going to look back at this moment in time and remember Bernie Sanders, win or lose. And we're going to either say that that was a moment where we squandered the opportunity we had to get Bernie Sanders elected and put us towards social democracy, or will we look back to this moment in time and say that was the start of a political revolution that made America a global leader when it comes to green, clean, renewable technology, where, you know, we got Medicare for all, where we canceled student debt. Like, this election can be decided by us. Will we actually seize on this moment as young people and take our future into our own hands and vote for the candidate that we know is looking out for us? You know, my answer is, I hope so, but really, what we need to do is put in the work. 
You're never going to be able to win anything in life without putting in time, without putting in effort. So if you're worried about your fellow millennials or Gen Zers not coming out to support Bernie Sanders, change their minds. Convince them. Maybe they support Bernie Sanders, but they feel as if their vote is meaningless. Maybe they feel as if it's not worth the time and effort to register, to stand in line and vote. Change their mind. Convince them otherwise. Because, you know, a lot of people at that moment when Bernie Sanders had a heart attack in media, they wanted you to think that it was over. It was done. But we have three months before anyone casts a single vote or caucuses for Bernie Sanders. We can change this. We can decide this single-handedly. We just need to fight. That's it. So, again, I usually don't like to dwell on the results from any one individual poll. I'm making an exception here because I think that we all need a little glimmer of hope in this moment after the uh, couple of weeks that we've had. And this is a good indication that Bernie Sanders may be on the rise. He may be surging. He may, may, may be getting a second win. Um, and that's, that's really, really nice to see.